Have you ever gazed at the stars and pondered our existence in this vast universe? What if I told you that the world we perceive is not as it seems? Our loved ones, the mountains, the rivers, all may be illusions. What if everything we perceive is merely a convincing facade masking a greater truth beyond our comprehension? Could we be nothing more than subjects in an elaborate experiment orchestrated by a higher power? Welcome to the mind-bending concept of simulation theory. Join me as we explore this theory to gain a new perspective on our reality. The invention of computers marked a significant milestone for humanity. This groundbreaking technology provided us with the ability to crunch complex calculations and process vast amounts of data in mere fractions of a second. It was a leap forward that not only propelled us into the digital age, but also led to the development of simulations. Simulations, for those unfamiliar, are models of real-world systems or processes created within a computer. They allow us to predict outcomes based on input data. We use them in weather forecasting, predicting economic trends, and even in video games to determine how non-player characters or NPCs behave. But as our technology grew, so did the complexity and realism of our simulations. We began creating hyper-realistic video games that blurred the line between digital fantasy and reality. These lifelike virtual worlds got thinkers pondering. If we, with our limited technology, could create such convincing facsimiles of reality, What's to stop a far more advanced civilization from creating a simulation that's indistinguishable from the real world? This train of thought gave birth to the concept known as simulation theory. According to this hypothesis, it's possible, maybe even probable, that our Earth and our entire universe are part of an incredibly realistic simulation. That everything we see, touch, an experience is a product of lines of code running on some unfathomably powerful cosmic computer. It challenges our perception of reality, turning the concrete into the abstract. If we are living in a simulation, what does that mean? For concepts like free will and consciousness, are they also simulated? This idea challenges our perception of reality and raises profound questions about the nature of our existence. Let's rewind to 13.8 billion years ago, the moment of the Big Bang, when the universe burst into existence. But what existed before that? Was there a space, a void? Surprisingly, neither space nor time existed before this cosmic event. It is hard to believe that even time can be non-existent. That's because we are so used to the passing of time, we cannot comprehend time not being existed. So what triggered the Big Bang? Was there a precursor? And if so, how did it originate? Was it God? These questions lead to an endless loop of inquiry. Furthermore, what lies beyond the boundary of our universe? If it's empty space, wouldn't that space be part of our universe? Numerous other puzzles confound us. Why are we unable to exceed the speed of light? How is the universe governed by such precise laws of physics? These mysteries prompt speculation that our universe might be a meticulously designed simulation akin to a computer program. Perhaps the limitations in our understanding are intentional, programmed by a higher intelligence to prevent us from unraveling the truth. Many scientists, technologists, and philosophers believe that it is equally likely we are being or not being in a simulation. The debate continues, highlighting the profound mysteries that shroud our existence. In video games, glitches occasionally occur, causing characters to behave oddly or objects to appear out of place. This is a common experience for many gamers. Your character suddenly falls through the ground or an object inexplicably hovers in midair. These glitches disrupt the immersive experience reminding us that it's just a simulation. Now, 
Let's apply this concept to our reality. Have you ever experienced something so peculiar, so strangely familiar, that it made you question your perception of reality? The Mandela Effect and Deja Vu are two such phenomena that have puzzled individuals and sparked debates about the solidity of our reality. The Mandela Effect refers to shared false memories. For instance, a significant number of people remember reading about Nelson Mandela's death in prison during the 1980s. However, in our accepted reality, Mandela survived imprisonment, became the president of South Africa, and passed away in 2013. This discrepancy is just one example. There are countless others, such as Curious George supposedly lacking a tail, discrepancies in brand, logos like Kit Kat and Coca-Cola, and even the spelling of Jif peanut butter. Could this be a glitch in our reality similar to those we encounter in video games? Deja vu, on the other hand, is a feeling that something happening to you has already happened to you in the past. It's as if you are reliving a moment from a past life or from a dream. Are these mere quirks of our minds? Or could they indicate subtle glitches in the simulation we call reality? It's a tantalizing idea. These instances, along with other anomalies, suggest that our reality may not be as solid as we perceive it to be. Despite the compelling arguments for simulation theory, it remains beyond the realm of physics and scientific explanation. When we examine the other side of the coin, we find some compelling counter-arguments. Many phenomena, often cited as evidence of a simulated reality, can be explained through more mundane factors. For example, in the case of the Mandela effect, there may have been rumors or confusion surrounding the death of another politician in prison during that time, leading people to mistakenly believe that Nelson Mandela had died in prison. Over time, these false memories can become ingrained, leading individuals to recall events that never actually occurred. Similarly, we may have falsely remembered the cartoon character Curious George having a tail because he was a monkey. Our brain may have filled the gap that a monkey should have a tail. Moreover, if a larger number of people claim the occurrence of some incidents, then our confirmation bias kicks in, leading us to believe that. And for us, supernatural things such as ghosts, fairies, and aliens make us excited. It is possible that our fascination with the supernatural outweighed and we all agreed to remember the false incident. Deja vu, another intriguing experience, is often explained by neuroscientists as a glitch in our brain's memory processing rather than a glitch in the matrix. Furthermore, our inability to comprehend what existed before the Big Bang or what lies beyond the universe doesn't necessarily imply a program limitation. It could just be a reflection of our current scientific understanding, which is continually evolving. While the universe is full of mysteries, not every phenomenon points to a simulated reality. So, while simulation theory is fascinating, it's essential to keep an open mind and consider all sides of the argument. Even if we are living in a simulation, it may be impossible to prove unless the entity controlling the simulation allows it. This is because we cannot think beyond the capability our programmer has set. We are talking about simulation theory only because our programmer allows us to. Even if we somehow figure out it is a simulation, it is not a big deal for the programmer to wipe out memory or restart the simulation. If such a programmer exists, he is no different than God. This is because he would have satisfied the definition of God, the one who created us. But what does it truly mean for us, for our daily lives, our dreams, and our fears? Even if believe our universe is a grand simulation, our experiences remain tangible and real to us. 
the laughter we share, the tears we shed, the love we feel, these experiences are undeniably real and form the fabric of our lives. Whether we live in a base reality or a simulated one, the implications seem to be minimal on our everyday experiences. It does not make any difference because our lifespan is merely 100 years, which is no more than a blip in the age of the universe. Yet human curiosity is a stubborn thing. We will continue to ponder no matter what. If you found this video insightful, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching and have a great day.